Aries from Patreon says, can you explain phytic acid and nutrient absorption, especially in relation to a high fiber diet? So phytic acid is found in a lot of plant foods, and it's typically found as a salt, which means it's a phytate. So it is typically complexed with a mineral like magnesium or calcium or zinc, and it can slightly reduce the absorption of the mineral that it's bound to. So for that reason, phytic acid or phytate is typically labeled as an anti-nutrient, but it doesn't completely block absorption. It just reduces absorption. So um, consuming phytate rich foods are really only a concern in a few very specific circumstances. So a normal, like if we are a healthy person, we have a diverse diet, uh, we generally don't need to worry about it. Our gut bacteria can process a lot of phytates for us and liberate those minerals, make them more absorbable by our bodies. Um, in fact, there are some health benefits to phytates. So phytates have a very similar molecular structure to myo-inositol, which reduces a uh, risk of type 2 diabetes and can improve uh, blood sugar regulation. And there are some studies where they give phytic acid as a supplement and show that it can, for example, uh, increase markers of bone mineralization, implying that it may be beneficial for osteoporosis. So, um, phytates actually may may actually be a health promoting compound even if they're reducing the absorption of the minerals that they're bound to the only time that this is really like a, a problem for someone is in vegetarians and vegans most of the zinc in their diets is found in a phytate so that it's not really a problem it just means that the there's an increased need for dietary zinc because there's a reduced absorption of that zinc. So that's that's the only time where, where phytic acid is sort of like a known, very, very small, uh, very easily overcome obstacle. 